Representatives from the Interfaith Council joined together for an early morning manna to hear about a new TV series soon to film in and around Washington County. This is really a great opportunity for us to be hosting the promised land here. It's going to be a future hit television series and it helps us to grow our film industry. The Promised Land, which debuted its pilot on YouTube in July of this year, takes us on a biblical journey back in time with a humorous twist. Every day I sit down and people from the 12 tribes come to me with their problems. Our people are dying! Okay. Just give me two quick seconds. Moses! Gentlemen, please! Gentlemen! Much like The Office, this comedic show gives a viewpoint of what conversations may have looked like while following Moses through the desert. Now I want you to imagine that that manager doing their best, even though they're not fully qualified for this job, is Moses. The characters who are working in this environment are his family and the leaders of the 12 tribes. The mundane workplace is a vast desert that is not where they want to be. And the new rules that are coming in from corporate are actually policies that are coming from God to Moses to be expressed to the people. That is the promised land. Director writer Mitch Hudson, who was also a second AD of The Chosen, spoke to the crowd about this epic tale of perseverance and leadership as Moses and his followers trudge through the desert where the greatest challenge isn't the heat, but the hearts of the people. Throughout it, we'll see them triumph and fail and grow and learn and hurt, all the things that you would normally see in a regular sitcom like this. Uh, and then beyond this, our hope with the overall show is that we're going to make 40 episodes and a feature film. The producers are asking for the leaders of the churches to help out, much like they did in Carlsbad, New Mexico, where the pilot was filmed. They said they chose St. George because it had all the right scenery and an airport. We looked on a map and we're like, where's the most red? <laughs> and then in that red, where's a town? <laughs> and in that town, where's a town with an airport? <laughs> and we found St. George. <laughs> Uh, luck has nothing to do with it, right? Um, you know, for my family, sometimes people will say things to us like, oh, you know, that's just a coincidence, or isn't it funny how that happened, or, oh, yeah, you were really in the right place at the right time. For us, we like to say that's not odd, that's God. While The Promised Land won't have the sizable budget that Kevin Costner's movie Horizon and American Saga does, they are still hoping to make a splash on this biblical comedic TV series. So people will be coming into the state um, to be staying in our community and our hotels, you know, shopping in our stores. And then also it's an opportunity uh, for our community to get involved. The producers are looking to attract 500 extras to play a role in the tabernacle scene. So the extras uh, for the tabernacle scenes, it's, it's a volunteer basis, you know. Um, we just don't have the budget or the funds to, you know, pay everybody that's on the project. But, uh, uh, you know, we'll have food and fun and, you know, some prizes and stuff like that to award them for their time being there. Um, and we believe that you all um, and your sub-communities that you are a part of can have a great impact, not just on the logistics of our production, but on the hearts and the minds of our cast and crew. The Promised Land will utilize a production crew of about 80 to 90 people to shoot the episodes. Kelly said considering there are 4,000 college students in the film industry in Utah, this will also be a great match to keep them working in the state. The average medium wage in Utah is $16 an hour, and the average medium wage in the film industry is $32 an hour. Leaders of local churches and the Interfaith Council of All Religions and Faith are already giving praise to the project. It's like a perfect moment for the Interfaith Council to demonstrate the unity that they have expressed among each other and demonstrated in their actions. As a matter of fact, one of the rabbis in the area has been reviewing the scripts for the Promised Land because they wanted to run that past them, make sure that there wasn't anything that would be, you know, objective objectionable or a problem in it. Right now it's very dark times and what I saw on this little blip that they showed of a trailer, it's humorous, it has a little humanity in it and I find this is what's missing in the world and maybe hopefully bringing more people to God. But we're also working with the various faith communities and people in this community of what it was like with 
Moses and the Israelites in their dark times after they left uh, their uh, slavery in Egypt. You know, for whether it's uh, script read-throughs or whatever, um, they, I know they've been asking what might we be able to provide. And so um, just meeting areas is a good one, and the transportation is a good one that we're well equipped with. So if we can. The crew says the pilot is already doing well on YouTube worldwide. We made a full event of it um, and we got um, through all of, all of Instagram, through all of our social media pages, we have over 12 million views. So we're doing something right. Um, and and it's just like truly um, God taking care of us again. This is, this is the theme of the show. It's God's taking care of us. Filming will begin as early as this month and is scheduled to wrap up by November 9th. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.